guys in your base here with another episode of terraria so this episode i'm going to kind of talk about all of the new potions and all of the new materials used to make potions first one is bottled water in order to make bottled water you need a bottle and for some reason in my base it's allowing me to make it when i'm even near lava but it's supposed to be when you're near water so you get near water and then you can just make it in your deck right here. So you just click that and boom, you got bottled water. The next potion on the list, the new one, is Fire Blossom. Fire Blossoms grow in the underworld and they grow on the ash blocks that are in the underworld. Next one is you have Water Leaf. <clears throat> water Leaf grows generally in desert biomes on sand. I've also seen it grow near water or underwater, but it's mostly in the desert area that it grows. You also have blink root, and blink root it kind of just grows naturally in caves, and you can tell that it's blink root because it usually flashes or glows a little bit while it's under the ground, so you can kind of see it from a little bit away. The next one is cactus, which is right here. Cactuses they grow in the desert biomes as well. Um, if you create a new world and you go over to where there's a lot of sand, you'll see them, or if you just kind of wait and uh, maybe do the frame skip thing and for a little bit in order to wait and let kind of the grass grow and the cactuses grow you'll also see it in your world too next one is day bloom and day blooms just grow on normal grass on the surface pretty much everywhere um they look like a little just like a little tiny flowers a little straight up line with a little yellow top on it they're everywhere um, another one is coral, and coral <clears throat> grows at the ends of the map in the ocean. If you create a new map, they usually have a more extensive ocean system. But if you go there, and you'll see these growing underneath the water, and you can just break them up with your hammer or your ham axe, that works. Um, the next one on the list is moon glow, and moon glow grows in jungle grass. Uh, I think it only grows in the over or the surface jungles but it might also grow in the underground jungles as well but if you want to find moon glow those are in the jungle area also next up is deathweed and deathweed grows on a blood moon or well, blooms on a blood moon but it grows in corruption on both the ebon stone and on the corrupted grass next up as a material is feather Feathers are a new item that are dropped by griffins, and griffins spawn higher up in the air. So if, like, let's say you have a, uh, a sky bridge in order to find uh, floating islands, that's where griffins will hang out, and if you kill a bunch of those, they'll drop feathers. Next up on the list is, let me see, I think it is shark fin. Yeah, shark fin is dropped by sharks. And they also spawn in the ocean, um, where you can find the coral. And that's at the ends of the map, and they're pretty big. They have 300 HP, and they do a lot of damage, so be careful of those guys. And that's it for the new materials. Now let's talk about the new potions. So let's go to an alchemy table. <clears throat> and I can show you, because I have all the materials for all of the new potions. And as you can see, I have all of the potions underneath here. Um... I've been freaking busy, guys. Uh, so Obsidian Skin Potion is what I'm going to start with. And the Obsidian Skin Potion provides immunity to lava, and it has a three-minute duration. And you can create it. If I can find it. Right here. You can create it by using one bottle of water, which I described earlier. You can stand near water with a bottle and then just craft it in your hand. You don't need to be at any kind of table. So you use one bottle of water, one fire blossom, which I said earlier grows in ash blocks in the under underworld. You use one water leaf, which I said earlier grows in the deserts, and one obsidian block, which you can get by mixing lava and water. Next up on my list is Swiftness Potion. And Swiftness Potion is created with bottled water, Blink root, which is found naturally in underground caves, as I said earlier, and cactuses, which grow in deserts. And Swiftness Potion lasts for four minutes, and it increases your movement speed by 25%. The next one on the list is Regeneration Potion, and it provides life regeneration, 
and the life regen is a total of 240 HP and it is its duration is two minutes long and you create it by using one bottle of water one day bloom which I said earlier you can just it grows on the surface on grass or it can even grow on sky bridges that are made out of grass and mushrooms which you guys should know about mushrooms already they just grow on grass normally um, also next up is Gill's Potion Gill's Potion has a one minute duration and it allows you to breathe underwater and that is created by using one bottle water one water leaf which you know grows in desert and coral which grows in the ocean at the ends of the map next on my list is iron skin potion iron skin potion increases your defense rating by eight and it lasts for five minutes it's created with a bottled water a day bloom and an iron ore <clears throat> mana regeneration potion is next it increases your mana regen it's kind of the same as wearing one of those mana regeneration rings and it lasts for two minutes and it's created by using one bottle of water and using one moon glow which I said earlier it grows where does it grow it grows in jungle grass that's right moon glow it grows in jungle grass and then a day bloom and a fallen star which you guys should know about fallen stars they just fall during the night land on the ground pick them up good day Next up on the list is the Magic Power Potion, and that increases your magic damage by 20%, and it lasts for two minutes. That is created by using one bottled water, one moon glow, which I explained earlier, jungle grass, one death weed, which blooms on a blood moon and grows on ebon stone and corrupted grass, and one fallen star. And that's a pretty badass potion. Featherfall Potion, which is essentially, it just makes you fall slower. I don't really like that potion too much because I usually always carry a lucky horseshoe. But <clears throat> Featherfall Potion is created with one, wa one bottled water, one day bloom, one blink root, which grows underground. Remember, day bloom grows on the surface grass. Feather, which drops from griffins. And next up, and what does that do? Yeah, five minute duration. Spelunker Potion shows the location of treasure and ore, and I've also heard that the Spelunker Potion makes plants that you can harvest, like coral, moon glow, this kind of stuff. It makes that glow as well, so that it's easier to see. And that is a five minute duration, and that's created by using one bottled water, one blink root, which grows underground, one moon glow, which grows on jungle grass, and one gold ore. Next up on the list is Shine Potion. A Shine Potion makes you glow, basically, and it lasts for 10 minutes. It makes it really easy when you're going through caves and stuff. And that is created by using one bottled water, one day bloom, which grows on grass, and then one glowing mushroom, which, you know, if you know anything about glowing mushrooms, which you should, it's caused to create um, potions and shit. It grows underground in the underground mushroom farms, basically. Next up on my list, and that's a 10 minute duration, next up on my list is the Night Owl Potion, and that increases your night vision. It is a 10 minute duration, and it is used by creating one bottled water, one day bloom, and one blink root. And remember, day bloom grows on grass on the surface, blink root grows in caves. Next on my list is Battle Potion, and Battle Potion increases enemy spawn rate and it lasts for seven minutes. It's good if you had a monster spawner and you're holding a blue candle. That will make monster spawn like fucking crazy. You'll just get a lot of money and items. It's made with one bottled water, one death weed, which I said earlier grows in corruption on ebonstone and corrupted grass, and it blooms during a blood moon, and another one piece of rotten chunk, and that is creates a battle potion. Next up is Thorn's Potion. Thorn's Potion, it makes people who attack you take damage when they attack you. It's basically, if you've played World of Warcraft and you have ever played a druid, it's like the thorns. Basically, that's that spell. And it's created with bottled water, deathweed, which I've said before grows in corruption on ebonstone, 
and corrupted grass and blooms on a blood moon and a cactus which grows in the desert biome. Next up is water walking potion which allows you to basically be Jesus for five minutes. Jesus as in it allows you to walk on water. I mean it's pretty, it says it right in the name. Um, one bottled water, one water leaf which grows in deserts and one shark fin which drops from killing sharks. Next up is Archery Potion, which increases the speed and damage of your arrows by 15% for 4 minutes. That is created with one bottled water, one day bloom, which grows on grass, and one lens, which drops from the eyeballs that float around. And then next up is the Hunter's Potion, which allows enemies to glow so that it's easier for you to see them when they're further away. It, and it lasts for 5 minutes. That's created with a bottled water, a day bloom, which grows on grass, a blink root, which grows in caves, and a shark fin, which drops from sharks at the oceans at the ends of the map. And gravitation potion, this is the coolest one. It allows you to change gravity. It allows you to float up in the air, and you can change it back and forth while you're using it, and it lasts for three minutes. It is used with, it has the most materials out of all of, all of them, because I think it's the most useful and the most powerful. But it is one bottled water, one fire blossom, which drops in, or it grows on ash blocks in under, Underworld or Hellworld. One death weed, which I've said before, grows in corruption on ebonstone and corrupted grass and also blooms on a blood moon. And blink root, which grows in underground caves. And a feather, which drops from griffins in the sky. And last but not least, invisibility potion, which I've got to scroll up for because I skipped it. And it makes you invisible, but I believe your armor still shows up from what I've heard. And it lasts for one minute. It is one bottled water, one blink root, which grows in caves, and one moon glow, which grows on jungle grass. So that is all of the potions in the new update. So that is the ultimate potion list. Um, if you guys have any questions about any more potions, let me know. My next update that I'm going to make is going to be all of the other items that I haven't explained, how to get them, etc. Alright, goodbye.